Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is The Training Card Frog and today I'll be your host. Today we'll be doing something a little different. We'll be opening some Yu-Gi-Oh! Chaos Box. Uh, these boxes are just like the mystery boxes. Uh, they're classic stuff, repackaged stuff from Walmart. Uh, this one actually was found on Walmart.ca, the Canadian online version of Walmart. Uh, basically these boxes are 100% sealed, not tempered with or anything. They have one Legacy Pack, one Mega Pack, and three Booster Packs. Um, on Walmart.ca, I found these for about $40 Canadian, give or take a dollar, basically. And uh, as soon as you order for $50 or more, it was free shipping. And since Walmart here in Quebec, my province of Canada, uh, does not stock up on mystery boxes, I thought, well, you know what? It's so rare that I find some on the website. I might as well just order them and test them out, you know? Uh, they are $40 as I've mentioned, and that's quite expensive, especially with the taxes and everything. But these packs are gonna be probably not these ones per se, so let's assume $5 a pack, that's the usual price, so that's $15. A mega pack, if they're not from the recent Ancient Battle Tins stuff, uh, they're at least about fifteen dollars uh, all the values i'm talking about guys are in canadian money by the way so you know that's 15 that's 15 these are at least 10 for the 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 least expensive ones like uh dark crisis or stuff like that but if you get invasion of chaos if you get legend of blue eyes metal raiders they're at least 10 to 15 dollars a pack even these newer ones from the 2002 reprints or whichever ones now that's the 20 yeah, that's a 2014 reprints, as you can see here. Uh, this one is not. That's peculiar. Anyways, so if you get some of these older packs, you will get uh, about your money's worth. But, you know, since these are all random packs, you have no actual ratios to expect. Uh, it's not like you get a booster box and you know how many ultras and secrets you're going to pull. So you could pull entire shit from this, and uh, you wouldn't really know until you do it. So these boxes are very expensive for no good reason, and uh, I like it. <laughs> but I'm not going to buy a lot of these, uh, because usually that's just a big waste of money. Ooh, okay, so this is good. We have two Maximum Crisis. Very good pack here, because we can get Ash Blossom's Secret Rare Original Print. They're not first edition, so they come from the special edition, but still, these are very good. These packs are at least 7 or $8 Canadian each at the moment. So that's very nice. That's a good chunk off the price tag. We have Dimension of Chaos, which is ish. It's not bad, maybe $5, I don't know. It's a little old, but it's not first edition, so it's really not worth keeping. We have a Blue Eyes White Dragon 2017 reprint. It's a little newer than the one announced on the box, but you know, it's uh, it's something. This is worth at least $10 to $15 on eBay right now in Canadian money, uh, excluding shipping. So, you know, just this and these three were almost at our 40 And we have the Megaton 2016 Mega Pack. I don't quite remember what can be found in this one, because, uh, you know, 2016, it's been a while. I don't really remember what the good cards were back then, but, but, I do remember seeing one on eBay this morning when I was uh, looking up the prices of what I might pull from these boxes, and, uh, well, you know, it's at least uh, 15 to $20 on eBay, actually, which is kind of funny. I suppose people want to keep those sealed for some odd reason. Uh, what I'm hoping to find for Mega Packs are the Legend Collection, uh, Yugi's World, Joey's World, but those I'm pretty sure they're all um, <laughs> they're all sold out and stuff like that. Like they don't have any more. Oh, I think we're gonna have the exact same stuff in our second box. No, actually it's a little different. We still have the 2016 Mega Pack. We still have a Legend of Blue Eyes. 2017 reprint, one Dimension of Chaos, one Maximum Crisis, but we have a Rising Rampage Unlimited, so we cannot even get a Starlight from this boss, from this pack. Okay, so, well, um, overall, I would say we have our money's worth in sealed content. Uh, the real deal begins now. We'll see if we get any worth 
in our pulls. Oh, this is a Euro print. Interesting. You know what? Let's go. I'm gonna open everything. Usually, I would like to keep the older packs sealed, but these are 2017 reprints. They're not even old. Uh, so I'll just open everything at this point. Okay, I actually forgot the rare was in there. Fortune Lady, Rewind, and White Aura Monoceros. Super rare. So we have nothing in our first pack. That's just bad. But, you know, it's it's what happens, you know? That's, that's the first pack. Dimension of Chaos. English. Uh, a North American print. So this set was not guaranteed a foil in it, I believe. And it's a little older than the other ones that we've pulled today. Well, maybe not the 2016, but at least the other ones. So we might not get anything, and we don't. We don't get anything. We got a, a former pal. Oh, Flash Fire. Interesting. That's a good one, I believe. But yeah, we got a Performer Pal Elephant thing as our rare. It's not good. Guys and gals, today is not looking good. But all the good packs are left. You never know what you'll find. What is Spectre Storm? Super Soldier Ritual. We got nothing. But I do remember playing Gradles and uh, Grand Horn of Heaven back in the days. Oh yeah, Eagle. And wow, okay, all three of the main Gradle monsters. Interesting. And the uh, Yata and uh, Grand Horn. Oh, those are good commons, at least. Okay, so shall we go to the 2016 packs? Shall we go to Maximum Crisis? We're definitely keeping the Blue Eyes ones for the end, because those are the ones I'm most excited about. Let's go for the 2016. These Mega Packs have one Secret Guaranteed, one Ultra Guaranteed, and uh, one Super Guaranteed, and one Rare as well. So maybe we'll find some good reprints in here. Maybe. I'm not quite sure. Rush Headlong. That's a decent card. Fright for Factory. Karma. Re the rare is the same shit we just pulled. Lose one turn. That was pretty good back then, so that's nice. Clearwing Synchro Dragon reprint. Uh, the original one was also a secret, so that's interesting. Lose one turn as well. Both of these cards were from uh, Crossed Souls, one of the sets I love a lot. And we have a DD Wave Oblivion King Caesar Ragnarok. I don't really care for this one, so I'll put that with the other supers. And we have a bunch of commons. But yeah, those are those are a nice little foils right there. Definitely not worth the money, but they're nice. They're very beautiful stuff. Yeah, these packs are worth more sealed. I'm not surprised, but I am disappointed that the pulls aren't that great. We have Elephammer, which was also from Cost Souls. We have, ooh, we have an Assault, Blackwing, and Raikiri, the Rain Shower. Solemn Strike, Mega Pack, nice pull right here. That is worth money. I'm not quite sure how much, but I do think it's worth at least eight to ten dollars, maybe. I know the Secret is worth money. The Super, not as much, but the Secret, yes. Fluffle Mouse is cute. You know what? I'll I'll try to remember. Uh, while editing that I want to check the value of Solemn Strike, it would be written somewhere in the middle here, I believe. So yeah, let's check that out. Editing time. Ooh, Ferret Fangs. Okay, so that's that for that. Now that we've pulled beautiful secrets, playable ultras, let's go for the Lolly. Let's go for Ash Blossom. There's also a lot of good True Draco stuff in here, uh, so you know, it's not all about getting the Ash Blossom. Oh wow, we've starting starting strong with an ult- uh, with a, a secret, pardon me, wow, okay, Unending Nightmare. So these packs are guaranteed foils, but you're not guaranteed anything necessarily higher than a super. So getting a secret, very darn lucky right off the bat. Uh, that could have been an Ash Blossom, could have been a Dragonic Diagram, could have been a uh, masterpiece we ended up getting unending nightmare it's okay we'll take it it's a secret it's worth a couple bucks it's you know it's all about the odds we're lucky on this one we're not rich but we're lucky artifact bajra wow okay an ultra <laughs> very lucky our ratios are insane we have majesty maiden the true draco caster and I used to play True Dracos. I loved playing that deck back in the days. Uh, I didn't play the very, very uh, annoying version with all the floodgates. I only played a couple floodgates just for the fun of it. 
Uh, it's fun to control and have big beat sticks on the field. Uh, I, I feel like a lot of people have bad memories of True Dracos because they were very control oriented back in the days, but nowadays they don't have as much power anymore and people are still hating them. I don't quite understand why actually. It's really just about nostalgia, isn't it? True King of All Calamities, that's a good super. It's banned, but it's a good super. So this set was insane, guys. This set was insane. We had True Dracos, we had uh, VFD, we had uh, Ash, we had some Lyrilusks in here. Man, that would have been a very good opening uh, when the set released. That's a while ago, but still, it would have been good. Out of three packs, two cards that are higher than Super, and probably the best or the second best Super of the set. Insane. Uh, so now we are going into our blue eyes packs. I want to keep these sealed, but I will open them because, you know, content. I want to make you guys happy, and I want to make you guys see some beautiful, nostalgic stuff. One, two, three, four, to the front. That should be the rare, and if there's a foil, it should be this one, I think. I think that's how they work in these older reprints. Hard Armor, Raise Body Heat, Fire Grass, Armored Starfish, Machine Conversion Factory, Monster Egg, I used to love this card as a kid, Lesser Dragon, Petite Dragon, and Flower Wolf. Eh, you know, it's, it's something, right? <laughs> so that's, that's not lucky, but it's nostalgic. Let's open our final pack of the day. Come on, heart of the cards. Let's go. Let's go, Kaiba. Give us, give us the goo. Give us, give us the foils. Beaver Warrior. That's nice. That's nice. Silver Fang. Wow, a lot of Yugi stuff. Sogan. Steel Ogre Grotto number one. Forest. And Warrior number two. Mammoth Graveyard. Nice. I like that one. Book of Secret Arts and Goblin's Secret Remedy. We got Squat. So that's a lot of money lost, but. You know, it's not a bad opening. We got some very nice foils from the other packs. Uh, the blue eyes ones, well, you, you can't win every time, I guess. And so, yeah, uh, that concludes today's video. Uh, if you enjoyed, please comment, like, subscribe. You know, everything is appreciated, you know. And uh, yeah, until next time, guys and gals, it has been a pleasure. Ciao. I've got a few thanks to give. First, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please like, sub, bell, comment, share, etc. It really helps. Second, I want to give a big thanks to my friend BuddhaBelly42 for making the animation for the channel's intro. It is much appreciated. Go check him out on his social media accounts. Third, but not the least, I want to say a huge thank you to everyone who supports me, my channel, and its mission, especially the ones on Patreon. You peeps out there are the ones making this work. On that note, follow me on my other social media accounts. Lots of bonus content to entertain you guys and gals, so check it out!